live studio audience, and they, of course, are able to see what's going on behind that, uh, that window, but the players who are playing cannot see the audience. So it really is live poker in the, in the true sense of the word. Valtteri Kivarinta of Finland is our chip leader by a lot, 103,000. Gilliland at 66,000. Blair is short stacked at 13,000 and will have to act fairly quickly, I would think. Absolutely, with just that many chips, Barry, you gotta find a hand and you gotta go with it. You gotta give yourself a chance to get back in this thing. Oh. Hey, another pair of fours, yeah. and Gilliland has those fours again. Miller will bet into him. Five, Jack, and there's another queen for Miller. Miller hits gold. Check. Check, check. To the turn. Ace. Four thousand. Well, this is a nice bet by Miller. He didn't get raised by Gilliland in the big blind, so he figures his queen is probably pretty good since the other guy doesn't have an ace. Sure enough, it was just that. So Miller will take that hand out. Well, are you ready to be part of the most exhilarating and breathtaking poker series ever played? Well, every week, six lucky players are flown out here to Las Vegas to compete inside the Poker Dome. We'd love to welcome you to the game. Log on to ManchinPoker.com, and you can earn a shot at one million dollars. That was the most insane lot of money. ride I have ever been on. A lot of money in Spanish, too. What is it in Polish? Pinonze. Very good. Blinds are up to 2,000, 4,000, so now it's going to get serious, particularly so for our short stack. Oh. Brandon Blair at 13,000, and he cannot afford too many trips around the table here. And in this spot, I would have raised with 8, his hand. I know it's a it's a risky play to do, but he's in the cutoff there. There's not too many people to beat, and the blinds have just gone up. Kivarinta, who is our chip leader, with a king ten to Miller's ace seven. He can afford to gamble here. Yeah, he can. It's not much help to either player. Check. I like the way Kivarinta takes a little bit of time to to make every decision. Yeah, he's a very nice demeanor at the table, doesn't he? He doesn't. He doesn't oh, give away a bunch. Not, no, he doesn't. Not emotional. Gonna throw that away and let Miller take it, which is a good read on the part of Kivarinta. Keep those. And Miller working on that wedding a little bit more. That's right. Yeah, Miller moving up. Well, I'd like to see uh, Frank Limosinaire get a little aggressive here. He's actually the only one who hasn't raised before the flop. Right. Now I'm going to live with a pair of tens. 8,000. Oh. That likely will be enough. Unless Kivarinta missteps here. Oh. Hasn't been a misstep yet. Has not. He's played flawless poker up to this point. See, three in a row. Now I'm done for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give them back. <laughs> He's emotionally attached to those tens. Yeah. I can give you a couple. He was emotionally attached to the ace 70 at his previous hand. Well, Blair with the king jack now. Well, I like the play. He's down to very few chips. He's got to make a move. Unfortunately, Green has woken up with King Queen. I yeah, think he's gonna at least call. He goes all in. Good isolation play there. Absolutely. And he's got himself in the perfect spot. Yeah, so Blair, not much he can do here. This is a great opportunity for Green to get some chips. We know he's got the skills. Now if he can just avoid getting unlucky. Nine, five, and an eight. Clean flop. We have three jacks and three jacks Good. only, unless we go runner runner straight somehow. Seven. Put a six in. Now, now he put picks up a ten for a it's straight, a six for a tie. And oh, it's a six! Wow! <laughs> Talk about dodging. Woo! <laughs> so the pot splits and Blair just kind of looks around, and Green has that smug look of, oh, you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen your way. So Blair will stick around and play another day, none the richer for it, however.
We're coming back.